here with my best friend, Brookie. Aww. Hey guys, I'm so excited to be here. Brookie has a brand new YouTube channel and you guys can subscribe by clicking the link in the description box below this video. And don't forget to use our code when buying Robux. And don't forget to check out StarSquad.shop where you can buy adorable snugglers or a super cute t-shirt. Daisy, where did you come from? Oh, I just snuck in the back. <laughs> I'm totally subscribing to Brookie's new channel. Thanks, guys. That means so much to me. And now it's time to get to the video. I am far too lazy to keep walking to school every day. I finally saved up some money, and now I'm going to buy my very first car. Oh, yeah. I'm so excited. So I'm at the car lot today to see what kind of car I can get. Holy guacamole. This one's amazing. Well, hello there. I'm Rick. You can call me Ricky, though. Um, okay, your name is Rick, but you like being called Ricky. Okay, got it. Salesman Ricky. I love this car. Oh, yeah. This is a uh, top-of-the-line sports vehicle right here. It's only $100,000. <laughs> Pretty easy for a student like you to afford, right? Not. <laughs> well, uh, Ricky, no, actually, you're right. I could never afford this car. <laughs> can I just sit in it? I like the new car smell. <sighs> no, you can't sit in it. Of course not. It's only for people who make $100,000 a year or more. They're the only ones that can sit in it. Oh, man. I should have told you that after I sat in it, huh? Tell me what your budget is, and I'd be happy to get you in one of these vehicles. Um, well, uh, let me count how much I have. 10, 20, 30, 40. I have, um, $100. Whoa, $100. <laughs> that barely buys you a sandwich at McDonald's these days. You think you're going to get a car for that? Um, yeah. Well, I might have one car. Hooray! <laughs> Which one is it? Which one? Oh, boy. This one's not 11. I swear, it's a great car. Um, are you sure it's not going to break down on me? There is a lemon law in Brookhaven, you know. I'm serious. This is not a lemon car. <laughs> not even a lime. So what's it going to take to get you in this beautiful car? Actually, it's kind of the color of a lime. Yes, but it's beautiful, isn't it? Come on. Come on. Hand over that money and get in the car. Okay, well, I guess. But it, it works really good, right? It sure does. <laughs> Trust it out. Um, okay, wait. We're, we're just going to have to hotwire it together. Really? Why? Well, you didn't expect this car to be brand new, did you? You only have $100. No, but, um, how will I know to hotwire it? Don't worry, you'll figure it out super easy. <laughs> look at you, you look so amazing in your brand new car! Um, yeah, that does sound pretty good. Okay, just a little hot wiring here and a hot wiring there. And look at the car started right up. Oh, don't run over me. Do you have your driver's license? Holy guacamole! Uh, yeah, I just got it. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, oops, that's reverse. Okay, thank you, Ricky. See you later. If you have any problems, don't call me. There's no refunds and there is no uh, money back or warranties or anything. But I'm sure it'll be fine. Okay. Whoa, this car is, well, uh, kind of all over the road. <laughs> uh, uh, uh. No, oh, man. All right, well, I just got to get back in because I thought it was stalling, but it didn't. Okay, I'm gonna go home, and um, then I'm gonna have a new car tomorrow. It's gonna be amazing. I'm not gonna have to walk to school. <laughs> Wait till my sister sees my new car. She's gonna be so jealous. Ugh, it won't reverse. Okay, there we go. Whoa, I almost ran into the garage door. Um, oh, wait a minute, I don't have my garage door opener. Well, I'll just go inside and get it. Wait a minute, why won't the door open? The door won't open! Oh man! Okay, let me try the other the other side. Maybe maybe it'll open on this side. None of the doors open in this! Wait a minute. Did he give me an actual key to this car? He did it! Now I'm locked inside here! Holy guacamole! Okay, that's alright. I'll just call Daisy with my cell phone. Oh, look for it, look for it. Where's my Oh my gosh! I left my cell phone in my room! That's okay, I'll just call for Daisy. Wait, I just, I don't roll up down the window and then call for her. Wait, the windows won't roll down either? This is a lemon! What a hunk of junk! Okay, I'll just try yelling as loud as I can. Daisy! Daisy! Oh my god! 
gosh, these puppy and kitty videos on YouTube are so adorable. Perfect, perfect. What was that? I thought I heard my name being called. <laughs> Maybe I'm just going crazy. I don't see anybody outside. Weird. I'm hearing things. Back to my YouTube videos, though, because look at how adorable these kittens and puppies are. Who's that sound again? Oh man, maybe I need a snack or something. Obviously my blood sugar is low. <laughs> what is my sister doing? She must be able to hear me. I'm screaming my head off. Oh, it's getting dark. I'm going to be stuck in here until somebody comes outside. Oh well, at least I have a sleeping bag. Well, that's a little cozier. Now I just need some snacks. Mm. Our donut is delicious. Mm. And I'll wash it down with some Doritos. And a delicious shake from Starbucks. Mm. Well, I guess I'm sleeping out here tonight. Well, it's kind of cold out here even with my sleeping bag. I hope I don't freeze. <sighs> I'm so tired. Oh, what a long overnight shift. Oh, thank goodness I'm home. Hey, wait a minute. Who's in my driveway? Someone just thinks they can park this hunk of junk in my driveway? Rude! That's it. I'm calling the, the tow company and they can come tow this junk out of my driveway. Towing service, how can I help you this early morning? Hello, this is Officer Dan. I just got home from an overnight shift at the police station and there's a hunk of junk of a car parked in my driveway for absolutely no reason. Oh, Officer Dan, we're so sorry to hear that. We'd be happy to help you right away. Okay, send a tow truck immediately, please. No problem, see you then. Bye. Oh good, here's the tow truck. Finally, I can get this hunk of junk out of my driveway. Yup, right here, yup, it's that green one. The one that says not a lemon when it absolutely definitely is a lemon. Hi there, no problem. We'll just get this car right out of your way, Officer Dan. Okay, Officer Dan, we're so sorry about this. We'll make sure we know who the owner is and um, we'll find them for it, right? Exactly. A fine should definitely be issued for parking in someone else's- Whoa! You're gonna drop the car! Oh, whoopsie, I forgot to put the straps on. My bad. Well, there's no more room at the car dump, so I guess we're just gonna throw it into Lake Madison. Here we go. See you later, hunk of junk car. Huh? What? what, what what's happening? What, what, what's happening? Hey! Hey! Ah! Why are you throwing me in the lake? Ah! The doors won't open! Say what? Is, is there a person in there? Holy guacamole! Hold on! I'm coming to rescue you! You can't rescue me! The, the, the door won't open! Oh my gosh! This is tragedy! Okay, that's okay. I know how to hotwire this car. You do? Yeah, and I also know how to break it open with a hammer. Okay, stand back. I'm gonna bust open the windshield. Here we go. Okay, okay. Ah! Oh my gosh, the water's filling up. Hurry! Okay, uh, there should be enough for you to swim out. Um, ah, you saved my life. But you also tried to throw me into the lake. What is going on? Come back to the shore and I'll tell you. Um, Officer Dan called us about a hunk of junk of a car in, the, in, in his driveway, and I, I, I didn't realize you were sleeping inside of it. Are you serious? Dad called my new car a hunk of junk? <laughs> well, I guess he does have a point. And now it's sinking to the bottom of Lake Madison. <laughs> uh, well, that was the worst hundred dollars I ever spent. <laughs> I should have bought a bike to drive me to school. <laughs> Well, um, sorry about the loss of your car. Whatever. Can you give me a ride home, please? Sure, no problem. Oh my gosh. <laughs> hey, don't run over me. Sorry. <laughs> I'm not the best driver. No problem. <laughs> well, 
See you later, first car. If I ever want to visit you, I'll scuba dive to the bottom of the lake. <laughs> I thought we were going to the cafe. I'm starving. Well, I sort of tricked you. <laughs> what do you mean you tricked me? There's supposed to be donuts and coffee and, and, and delicious things to eat. I know, but Molly, you need to go shopping. Shopping? What do I need to go shopping for? Molly, look in your pocket. What's this? It's a debit card, Molly, and you need it. Why? Because, Molly, your pants have holes in them. No, they're supposed to have holes in them. That's what's cool. No, your shirt has holes in them too. And there's stains all over it. You need to go shopping for the new clothes. You look like a hobo. Okay, fine. Where are we going shopping? Target, of course. Come on, you'll love their stuff there. Okay, all right. I guess I do need some new clothes. But maybe we could go to the video game aisle. No, Molly. Okay, look at there's a home good aisle. <laughs> I totally need a new rug for my room. No, Molly, we need to get clothes from you. For you, you just you need new clothes. Trust me. All right, fine, I'll go shopping. Ooh, look at this one with the Hawaiian shirt. That's kind of cute. Okay, I want to try it on. <laughs> you look like a grandma in that. No way, Molly. Ooh, what about this one? No, Molly, that shirt is so boring. So last week. Fine, jeepers. Apparently you don't like anything I'm picking out. Exactly, Molly. You should let me pick something out for you. Ooh, look at this. This is kind of cute. It has holes in it, just like my current pants do. How about this one? This one isn't too bad. Oh, Molly, I don't know. That's not really your style. Ugh, you're so annoying. Um, uh, Molly, let's go pick out a bunch of clothes. You could go into the dressing room and try them on. Okay, well, I'm going to pick this one and this one. And also, let me see. Is there any others? <gasps> Unicorns! Molly, stay focused. Okay, and this one, I guess. All right, let's go into the dressing room. You could try all of these on. Yeah, okay. My sister wants me to try on all these clothes. I better get a cupcake after all that. This is pretty cute. Wait. What what's that? It's a it's a a portal door. I I, I don't even know where that would go to, but <laughs> I think I'm about to find out. Whoa! This is crazy! Where am I? Is that a giant Oreo cookie? It smells like an Oreo. Looks like an Oreo. I'm going to take a bite. Nom, nom, nom. It is an Oreo. Mm, mm, that's super good. Wait, is that a giant donut? <laughs> I have somehow taken a portal from my worst nightmare, shopping with my sister, to my most favorite dream ever, candy land. Mm, and donut land. And cookie land. <gasps> Are those ice cream sandwiches? Holy guacamole. Those look delicious. I have to have some hot chocolate to, work, to rinse it down. Glug, 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 glug. <laughs> hmm. You'd think after I ate so much, I'd get a stomach ache, but nope, I don't have a stomach ache at all. Is that a giant thing of M&M's? <laughs> this is my dream come true. This is the most wonderful place on earth. There is a giant thing of popcorn. I'm just to see if I can get up there to eat it. All right, if I just jump... Really far, I think I can land in that thing of popcorn. Hiya! 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 Oh man, I didn't make it! Okay, that's alright. There's a lot of things to eat down here. Like cotton candy trees! Nom, 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 nom. Delicious! And what's this? A <laughs> chocolate milk river? Glug, 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 glug. And chocolate chip waffles? Oh my gosh, I've died and gone to heaven! Alright, um. This says Candy Mountain, which definitely means I want to climb it. There's gumdrops, and I don't know what kind of candy this is, but... Whoa, it's dark in here. Um, I really hope that there's not some sort of candy monster. Whoa! Something's biting me! Ah! Something's definitely biting me! Oh my gosh! Did I just die? 
Okay, inside of Candy Mountain is some sort of like piranha in the water or something. I'm not really sure, but definitely there's something evil down in there. I wish I had a flashlight to see where I was going. All right, I'm gonna go back in there. I'm gonna see if I can see what the evil thing is that's trying to get me in there. Whoa, it's like you fall into something. Um, you know what? I'm just not gonna get eaten by anything anymore. I'll climb up the side of Candy Mountain and that's about it. But I'm not gonna ruin my day with with something that's evil trying to kill me. Instead, I'm gonna dance with the pizza. Oh yeah, dancing with the pizza. Oh yeah, dancing with the pizza. Oh, that dancing pizza is so cute. I could just eat you up. I could just eat you up. And there's also a dancing taco wearing a tie. Adorbs. There are a lot of cute things in here. Oh, mint chocolate chip ice cream? Excuse me, do you mind if I just take a little nibble out of you? Oh, that really hurt! Oh, whoops, you can talk. Sorry! You just look delicious. I'm almost to the top of Candy Mountain. At the top is a giant lollipop. Whoa, 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 I'm stuck! All right, um, I think I might need to climb here, then here, then here, then here, then here. Yes, I did it! Ooh, there's a tree house over there. I have to go back and get my sister Daisy and tell her um, I'm never coming back to the real world because I've decided to live in Candyland. <laughs> now, where was that portal door? There it is, on the side of the popcorn container. Well, here goes nothing! Holy guacamole, that was crazy. Molly, are you going to hurry up in there and try on all those clothes or what? Um, uh, Daisy? Um, uh, something incredibly cool and super insane just happened to me. What, you actually decided to be fashionable? <laughs> oh, very funny, Daisy. No, I went into the dressing room and, and a portal appeared. What? Okay, prankster. Whatever. I suppose a pink elephant came in and danced a jig, too. No, I'm telling the truth. All we have to do is go into this dressing room, and you can go through the portal and go to Candyland. There were giant Oreo cookies and trees made out of cotton candy. Marty, just stop this right now. Well, I'll prove it to you. Come on, let's go into the dressing room, and you can see for yourself. You don't have to live there, but I am. There's a huge tree house there, and... Okay, Marty, let's see it. Molly, what are you talking about? There's nothing here. It, 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 it was right there. I, I swear it. Molly, there's literally no portal here. Oh, no. I can't get back to Candyland. This is terrible news. Molly, you need to stop pranking people. It's just rude. Ugh, I'm going to go get lunch. I decided I don't even want to have help you get clothes anymore. Or even have lunch with you. Wait a minute, Daisy. I'm telling the truth. Goodbye, Molly. Oh, my gosh. My sister will never know the amazing place of Candyland. I'll never get back there. Oh, I don't know if today was the best day of my life or the worst one. <laughs> <laughs>